Okay, so this is Abby Jo uh, in Aloha, Oregon. And I'm here with a brand new... Uh, this is my second map wrap. And what I've done is I took all of the... Uh, I took the whole thing apart and I put it on this... Um, I, what is it? It's a pot stacker. It's not a pizza stacker. And I rewired it. I took the coils apart and I made them uh, into a phi ratio, and I put this at 90 degrees, um, so they're shorter instead of 100, and it's 89 and 144 instead of what it was before, it was 89 and 161 turns. And we're still not getting that LED light to turn on, however... I'm going to show you why I think it's working anyway. Um, I also took the capacitors and connected uh, them back to the mother, the gravitational flow back to the um, back to the earth, back to the center. Tried to stand these up like that uh, so that they're not flat, but they're more like making a sphere and connecting them with the capacitors here. So. Here's my um, voltmeter, and I'm going to use this uh, pyramid. It's not plugged into anything, but it's a stainless steel pyramid as a negative ground. And I'm going to uh, move my arse up here. Happy New Year, by the way. Shana Tova. I think they actually say Sylvester Tov in Israel, and Bunane, and all that good stuff. So here it says zero, and now I'm going to um, reach over here. This is where I saw it move last. This was the plasma battery I made. And when I do that, we're getting a reading here. So there's something flowing, and I could feel it cold in my fingertips. I don't see blue haze here. Ooh, look at that. And, um, so that's what I'm touching here. So it is, there is something flowing here. I can feel it in my fingertips. Um, oh, maybe it got disconnected here. So perhaps if I stick this wire here, yeah. So there's definitely something is, is now starting to happen. There, it's flowing up there. Ah! That's pretty good. I think that's success. Maybe it's going to start to turn blue now. Something, if it doesn't work, it's because something isn't connected. I'm still hoping that this, I use the paper clips too, just like you said. Those are the paper clips there. So as to not break the plasma thing. And uh, I'm hoping that this LED light will turn on. Um, I wanted to show you one more thing, which is my current energy bill. It says your energy use. Uh, for uh, November 12th, 2015 until uh, December 15th, 2015 is uh, for 33 days of service, 933 kilowatts hours, which breaks down to 13 to 28 kilowatt hours per day, and at the most 28 kilowatt hours. That's the little table that the Portland General Electric provides to show me how I'm use how much power I'm using and how much I'm saving. So you can see that I haven't I've been trying to save for quite some time and I've been successful at it, but when it gets cold, my usage goes way up. And I'm only heating uh, one room now because I can't afford to heat the whole house. But I'm only living in one room actually. Um, except for the kitchen, I come out once in a while and make a meal and then go back into my warm room. Um, so the thing to look at here is it is one degree colder this year on average according to the statistics of Portland General Electric and yet my average cost per day is 20% less than it was this time last year 
this time last year, December 2014, I paid $3.99 per day. Now I'm paying $3.20 per day. Nothing else is different. It's the cost to me for one person, $109.54. Um, and I just wanted to show you that's real. This is real. Oh, there's another weird thing here. Uh, Mr. Cash said, Dr. Cash said to get a lemon and see how that operates, uh, how what kind of effect it has on the gons. There's some gons in here, which is complex gons. You can see it's green. It is in a green container. Let me show you. It's also rather green. That's a white piece of paper underneath there. So I've taken the green top off and it's still pretty green. And um, I did put a little tiny bit of marijuana in there, but from uh, my organic garden, there's some little pieces. I put some crystals in there as well. But it's mostly um, complex uh, variety of metals, whatever I could find. Tungsten, silver, gold, um, copper, nano-coated copper. Um, I did use dead sea salt. I warmed it up and dissolved it in there. And then I added some pink Tibetan salt. And I think that's important. And to stir it and, and aerate it, but keep it closed. Um, what I wanted to show you was that this lemon is about, I think I bought this on uh, at the end of October. I could probably even find a receipt for it. I bought it at the Albertsons in Aloha on Farmington because it is marked organic. <laughs> it's not even a GMO lemon. This is natural organic lemon. And I went in there for the purpose of buying organic foods and I always buy whatever they have when I go in there that's organic. <coughs> for some reason, it's still fresh. It did not get moldy at all and it um, it's juicy and uh, it's a little strange. So, um, that's the report for New Year's Day from Aloha, Oregon, where this is my second MedGrav. And, uh, oh, the last thing I wanted to point out is that this wall that it's plugged into here, I'll try to move my arms here so you can see. Yeah, so this is sitting on the floor, but it's plugged in over here around the guns. And in the wall socket right there, which is the wall, on the other side of this wall is the washing machine. I think it was Alex in um, Nigeria who said that uh, if you turn on the washing machine, uh, here's the washing machine. You see it's right on that wall here, so that shared wall is the other side of where the magrab is plugged in and that's a very thin wall this is a mobile home so uh whatever is happening uh hopefully it'll happen for the best this year he was asking um dr cash if uh we should plug it plug the washing machine directly into it and dr cash said no but plug it into the same wall so that it's sharing an outlet a, a circuit and that's exactly what i've done and i have done wash once since i plug this in and it does seem to be helping. Um, one reason I think so is that there's a lot of light in this room and it's all coming from two bulbs because three of those are very dark and one of them there's I think even one that's completely burned out there and it's not usually this bright um, from two bulbs and I think those are LED bulbs too. So I'm going to go post this. This is where I keep my dog food and I distill my water. I've been using the same distiller for two years. Oh, um, looks like the name wore off. It's a Korean one. It cost about 200 bucks on uh, Amazon. Well worth it. Does an, a gallon at a time. You have to keep doing it. And I just use that for all of my uh, coffee, tea, and um, boiled potatoes and uh, whatever else I make. I make my own bread and I make my own rice. I always use that distilled water and also for the gons I use the distilled water and that would be the bread maker I use right over there. And this is a this is a Reiki poster I've had for 
uh, at least three years. And if you look at it, <laughs> it's a torus field filled with plasma and a person sitting inside there meditating. Kind of funny how things work out, isn't it? And I think it's supposed to be the lion and the lamb there, at least. That might be a Bengal tiger, I don't know. Um, I bought that when I was going to use this room for meditation, and so that was my intention when I um, first came here. Okay, I'm going to go post this as my New Year's uh, creation of balance and harmony this year, and that's my intention, is to create balance and harmony in everything I do. And with all of the gons that I make, and all the systems that I put the gons into. Um, so, peace and blessings from Aloha, Oregon. Uh, uh, goodbye. Yep, did I not turn it off?